Hey guys, how's it going? It's John from The Machine Shop. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use a super useful tool in the Arduino ethos. Now, for me, it really sets out what makes Arduino super useful for people that are trying to learn microcontrollers and learn programming and all that sort of cool stuff is the serial monitor. So we're going to hook up our Arduino. I've got a couple of sensors attached to my Arduino Uno here. I'm going to show you how to set up the serial monitor so we can see some raw data. I'm also going to show you how to use the serial plotter so we can see a nice graph of the output of our sensors here. So are you ready? Let's go. Okay, so let's jump over to our Arduino software. So here we are. Everyone knows the Arduino software by now. Um, so I've got on my Arduino here, I've got a potentiometer. We looked at one of these in uh, the last video that I did about analog inputs. So I've got a potentiometer here. If you haven't seen that video, just click on that little, I'll just pop it up there just for you, just for you. Uh, a little special. Um, so we've got a potentiometer plugged in there. I've also got a little light sensor plugged into here. I'll do a video on light sensors, um, but I'm going to show, we've got basically got two inputs here, two analog inputs. I'm going to show you how we can use them in serial monitor. So first of all, we need to set up our serial port and we need to tell it what speed to run at. So we can do that. We do serial with a capital S dot begin. Okay, so serial dot begin. And then we have to give it a speed. So I'm going to go with, and this number may seem a bit weird, 115,200. And put a semicolon on the end. I'll show you what numbers you can use in there. Basically, it's how fast we can send data from the Arduino to the computer. You'll see what I mean in a second when we actually get it working. Now, what I'm also going to do in here is I'm just going to get it to send. So I'm going to do serial dot print and then open brackets and in quotes, I'm just going to put uh, at machine shop shop UK. There we go. Okay, so all that's going to do, really simple program. It's going to set up our serial port and it's going to print at Machine Shop UK to our serial interface. Now, the serial interface on the Arduino, also known as UART, U A R T, which is Universal Asynchronous Receive and Transmit. On the Arduino Uno, there's actually a little extra chip on the Uno, uh, which does USB to serial conversions. And then that is connected to the microcontroller on the Uno so we can do communications. And it allows us to send and receive messages from the Arduino to the PC so we can easily see them. So here we've set up our serial port with a particular speed. We have to tell it that so it knows. And then we're going to get it to print this message. So I'm going to change over to my desktop view so we can see that as well. And I'm just going to upload this. Now I've put this all in setup and I haven't put it in loop. So it just, it's only going to run this once and then um, it'll sit in the loop and it just won't do anything. That's fine for what I want it to do. Now to see the messages that are coming out of the Arduino is we can click on this little magnifying glass up the top here. See this? And it says serial monitor next to it. If I click on that now, there we go. It's actually sending. So I'm going to press the reset button on my Arduino and there we go. You can see it's sending at Machine Shop UK. So what it's doing is it's just literally printing this as it is as the output. And you can see that my input on my PC uh, over USB is receiving that correctly. Now, another thing that I can do is here I've got print. If I print put print LN or print line, it's going to put uh, a carriage return at the end of what I send. So if I upload this now, what I should get is there we go at Machine Shop UK and it's put it on a new line. So I'll press my reset button again. There you go, at Machine Shop UK. So it's actually putting it on a new line. Now, obviously, I could put this inside of my loop here. And then I'm going to put a little bit of a delay on there of 1,000, so one second. And now what that's going to do is obviously it's going to loop around there, print it, wait a second, print it, wait a second, print it, wait a second. So I should see that this now, here we go, it's now incrementing. Um, it's now printing it over and over again with a one second delay in between. Awesome. So I know for a start by just doing that, that my microcontroller is running and everything's going fine. I can see it. I can clear the output and it's still working great. But let's do something a bit cooler. So in a previous video, we did analog inputs. So let's set those up. So we need a pin mode uh, and then I need to set up A0 as an input like that. 
And I'm going to do another one for the light sensor. But I'm going to set this one up to have an input with a pull-up. Can you remember when we did digital inputs? We looked at inputs and then input with a pull-up. I'm going to implement that for my light sensor. Again, if you want to see why, then check out my video that I'll be bringing out uh, about light sensors and stuff. Hit the subscribe button and the bell icon if you don't want to miss that. So I've got two pin modes set up here. So now what I can do with my serial here is I can say instead of, um, so I'm just going to put serial print and then I'm going to do my analog read. If you remember doing that from the previous video, analog read and I want it to read a zero. So that's going to give me my potentiometer output, that uh, ADC output. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it to print just a space like that. Just separates my two values. I'm going to do it again. Serial.print. This time I'm going to do print line. And this time I'm going to get it to read in the value of A1, which is my light sensor. Okay, another, semi uh, another bracket there. Semicolon. And my delay, I'm going to put this to 100 milliseconds. Make it a little bit quicker. So I've set up my serial port. I have um, my pin mode set up for my potentiometer, I've got my pin mode set up for my light sensor, and I've got analog read, a space, and then another analog read of the potentiometer and the light sensor. So let's send this over and see what we get. I'm going to clear this output. Boom, there we go, it's coming through really quick. So here we've got some numbers coming out of our system. Now if you remember, these numbers are the value of the potentiometer and the value of the light sensor. These are just raw values coming straight off of the input. So if you remember from the analog one, I should be able to get between 0 and 1023. So if I turn my potentiometer here, you can see that first number in my serial monitor increasing. There we go. 1023, because it's all the way up. And if I turn it down, I should get it to go all the way down to 0. There we go. Okay, so I can set these at whatever value I want. Perfect, right. Now the other number is the light sensor. Now this light sensor works in the inverse. So the uh, the bigger the number is, the darker it is. So if I actually cover up the light, we can see that that number starts to increase. So we can see that both of our inputs are working and we can interface with a potentiometer and a light sensor. Now there's another view that we can have here. If I close this, we can get to that from this magnifying glass, that serial monitor, or we can go tools and go to serial monitor and it comes up exactly the same like that. There we go. Now, one thing I will bear in mind is this serial.begin, and it has that speed at the end that I was talking about. On this screen, if you look down the bottom here, it's got down here uh, the board rate. So that's the speed of the communications. And there's a big list in here of all the different board rates that we can use. So we can use 300 board, 9,600 9, is a popular one, 57. Uh, we can even go, what can we go right up to? 2 million here, so 2 meg. I don't know if the UDO will actually do 2 meg. Um, so I'm going to stick with 115,200. That's my favorite. And yep, great. We can see our data coming through. If we had them set up incorrectly, watch what happens. I'm going to set this up for 57,600. Garbage starts coming through. That's because the Arduino is sending it out really, really fast. But we're trying to read it really, really slowly. So we're just getting garbage. So you need to make sure that the number that you've got on the serial monitor and the number that you set up are both the same and then your data will come through fine. Grant. So the other thing I want to show you is serial plotter. So what we can do is under tools again, we had serial monitor. There's also serial plotter. What serial plotter does is it gives you an, basically like an automatic graph. So here we've got two signals coming through. The reason why it comes up as two is because they're separated by a space. That's why I put it in there. And then here what I can do is I can show, if I cover this up, there we go, automatic scaling on the graph as well. So it's actually automatically changing my graph as I'm getting rid of the light. There we go, if I get it really dark, it goes really high up. And if I let go, it comes down to there. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna get my phone, turn the torch on, there we go. And then if I hover that over the light sensor as well, I can get it to go all the way down. How far down can I get it to go? Pretty far down. Not quite enough light coming from my torch on my iPhone to change that. Now, like I said, this is auto scaling. So what it'll do now, when it gets to the end of the graph, it'll start 
um, scrolling through and as that um, that big peak that you can see where I covered it right up when that disappears the graph will automatically resize so it'll actually um, cover up so if I was to do some data like this there we go and then yeah here we go there's my my light data whatever that's supposed to be as that big peak disappears you'll see what happens it all resizes to get it to fit on screen now I can also see my potentiometer input here so if I turn this I can see the value coming from here and I can go right down to zero or I can turn it all the way up and it should rescale with me here we go all the way up to 1023 now everything else is starting to look really small considering um, so the maximum number I got out of there was about 200 and uh, maybe 150 maybe nearly 200 but I can see the output of my potentiometer in a nice easy graph now that's going kind of slow I can move my delay let's put that down to 10 milliseconds and re-upload that and now it should work a lot quicker so the more data that goes in the quicker this graph is going to fill up there we go so now we can see my potentiometer output doing something cool now another thing I can do as well up here is the key so it's got blue and it's got red I can add labels to those so in my serial setup here I'm going to put uh, serial dot print and then I'm going to put uh, the blue one is the potentiometer is that his bar potentiometer yeah and then a space and then the red one is the light there we go now if I upload this because we're sending that information first and then sending all the data, it should. Oh, I didn't put print. I need to put print line. There we go. Okay, so now we've got a blue and it says it's potentiometer and a red, which is the light. So we know which one's which. Great for if you want to show it as a demo or you want to take a screenshot or whatever to show your data. Very cool. And um, my light sensor. Awesome. Okay, so there we go. That's how you use the serial monitor on the Arduino. Really, really simple. And you can basically send it whatever you want. You can send it numbers. Um, you can send it text. Really helpful when you're debugging your code. If you've got loads of code, you could just put a statement in there that says, like, test one. Or test if statement. You know, if you if you want to check your code to see if uh, a certain condition has been met. You could put a print statement in there to say, yes, condition has been met. Um, and it would just print out on your screen. Really, really super helpful when you're debugging your code and trying to find out where something's going wrong um, is to have that thing just pop up and give you some information about what's going on. Could also be that it's sending you the uh, percentage of your battery that's on the system or it's sending all sorts of things. You can basically send anything over the serial monitor. Well, thank you for joining me, everyone. Um, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon if you want a notification. Feel free to share this on social media. Whilst you're there, you can find us at Machine Shop UK on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Also, visit the website, themachineshop.uk, where we've got links to all the other videos and our online shop. Cool. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.